Back. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. A play fake. Now Cunningham. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. A big play there for Philly. And sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And what was amazing to me was the fact he was able to get as much on the ball as he did because he was on the run. Normally, when you're on the move like that, you don't expect the ball to go that far. You would think you need your lower body to be involved. That was an all-arm throw. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening goal. The three plays already in the end zone. That was quick. We always talk about offenses understanding what they want to do before they go into a game. And they practice it. They have their script and the plays they want to open with. But defenses aren't just reactive. They have their own ideas as well. These ideas didn't get implemented very well. Three plays and a touchdown already scored against them. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7 0 game. So a 75 yard scoring drive on just three plays, and it's finished off with a five yard touchdown. team on the field now as they will send this one away from the six and good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20 so out come the Cowboys under head coach Mike McCarthy and they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback and what I'm looking for from him today the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. He'll look to throw. They dump it off, complete to Dorsett. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That throw is not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and... I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on.
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? We want a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Pearson. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful of one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right there in man-to-man, -man, maybe needs some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. He'll look to throw. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. So give him five yards there.